Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> We finally got out of there. I am really tired of being made into boats that float and balls that sink, aren't you? Yeah, me too. I never did figure it out. How can I be made to float and sink? It doesn't make sense to me. I think Bobbert said it had something to do with our shape. What does shape have to do with anything? Hey, what's that sound? I guess shape can be kind of important. We have all seen that corks float in water, but have you ever tried floating cans of regular and Diet Coke? Both cans are exactly the same size and contain mostly water, but they also contain other things besides water. Check this out. A can of regular Coke sinks. But a can of Diet Coke floats. Why is that? It is because even though their volumes are the same, their masses are different. Regular Coke contains 39 grams of sugar. This 39 grams is not in the can of Diet Coke. Instead, Diet Coke contains only a small amount of aspartame, an artificial sweetener. In fact, aspartame is 200 times sweeter than sugar. That means the manufacturer wants to put in only a small amount of aspartame. In fact, since aspartame is 200 times sweeter than sugar, they only want 1 200th of the 40 grams or 0.2 grams of aspartame in each can of Diet Coke. The reason why cans of Diet Coke and corks float is because they are less dense than what they are floating in. Density is mass divided by volume. Since both cans have the same volume, it is their masses that are different that gave rise to the differences in density. The density of water is 0.58 ounces per cubic inch. Play-Doh makes its product to be exactly 5 ounces in its smaller cans. So if we want to calculate the density of this Play-Doh, we already know half of what we need to calculate the density. So we just have to determine the volume of the 5 ounces of Play-Doh. It's easy to roll Play-Doh into a sphere, and the equation for the volume of a sphere is equal to pi over 6 times the diameter of the sphere cubed. The diameter of a 5 ounce sphere of Play-Doh is 2 and a quarter inches, or 2.25 inches. So that means the density of our Play-Doh is 0.84 ounces per cubic inch. That is larger than the density of water. So if we drop our Play-Doh sphere in water, it should sink. Yep, it does. What if we don't roll our Play-Doh into a sphere? What if we make its shape a little more interesting? Let's try making a rectangular box. The volume of a rectangular box is length times width times height. The volume of our rectangular box is 1 inch by 3 inches by 3 and a half inches, which is 10.5 cubic inches of volume. So the density of our rectangular box is 5 ounces divided by 10.5 cubic inches, or 0.48 ounces per cubic inch. That is a density that is less than the density of water. It should float.
and it does. If we take a typical bar of soap and place it in water, it will sink. However, a bar of ivory soap is different. When it is placed in water, it floats. The density of a bar of ivory soap is very low and less than that of water. The density is so low because a lot of the volume in ivory soap is taken up by microscopic air pockets that were created during the production process of ivory soap. Have you ever heard the term warm air rises? A warmer gas takes up more space than a cooler gas of the same mass. Since the warmer the gas, the larger its volume, then the warmer a gas, the lower its density. Therefore, warm gases always rise because they are surrounded by more dense, cooler gases. The process of rising warm air is called convection. We can observe convection if you place a wet quarter on an empty cold glass bottle that was placed in a freezer. As the warm air expands and rises inside the cold bottle, it makes the quarter bounce on the bottle. If you place your hands on the bottle, you greatly increase convection and therefore increase the rate of the quarter bouncing on the bottle. Remember those microscopic air pockets we mentioned that were present in a bar of ivory soap? The air in those microscopic pockets should expand if we heat the bar of ivory soap, right? What would happen if we place a bar of ivory soap in a microwave oven and turn it on? As the bar of ivory soap is heated, the air pockets expand and continue to expand. The warmer the air, the more volume it requires. So as the air pockets get hotter, they get larger and larger. Let's turn off the microwave and see just how hot and how soft the bar has become. It is pretty warm, but really soft to the touch. Convection can be used for other things besides making quarters bounce on a cold bottle and ivory soap bars expand in a microwave oven, it can be used to make a convection engine. Dr. Smith is cutting out a spiral that you can draw yourself or find on the internet. He then places a wooden skewer in a candle to hold the spiral over a candle flame. This looks like a disaster waiting to happen, Dr. Smith. It works! I told you so! Convection can also be used to make a solar hot air balloon. Dr. Smith is making a single tube out of three garbage bags. He cut the closed end of the center bag then tape the seams of all the bags together using clear tape. He then cut a slit in one corner that was large enough to fit the end of a hair dryer through. After filling the garbage bag balloon with hot air,
He tied the end with fishing line. and waited for the balloon to take off. It never really did, but good try, Dr. Smith. If you are going to try this, make sure you use the twist tie and the thinnest black garbage bags you can find. The more light you can see through a garbage bag with a flashlight, the thinner the bag. Thanks to convection, some gaseous wax rises with the smoke and can be ignited, relighting the candle. Let's review. Density is the mass of an object divided by its volume. Objects float or sink depending on whether the density of the object is less than or greater than the density of what the object is immersed in. Hot gas rising is referred to as convection and occurs because the warmer a gas is, the more volume it takes up, thereby greatly decreasing its density, causing it to rise and be replaced by cooler more dense gas.